if you have a loved one who you think might have CTE, first of all, the best care would be to help the person go to the right kind of clinician for a good diagnosis and the best type of treatment. But one thing that I always tell people is if you're a caregiver for someone with CTE or any other of these neurodegenerative diseases, these, these brain diseases, the most important thing is to understand that they have a different reality from your reality. The brain is what makes us think and feel and do, it controls our personality, it controls our movements, it controls our words. And if it's hurt, then all those things are hurt as well. One of the things that goes on with CTE is a lack of drive and a lack of caring, a lack of motivation. Well, that's the brain problem. So getting angry at someone doesn't do any good. And if someone makes a mistake or says something in public that's perhaps not the right thing to say, or they yell and then stop yelling, getting angry at them or thinking that they're in control of what they're doing doesn't do anyone any good. And so what I always tell people is don't argue. Arguing doesn't make any difference. If someone's brain is unable to deal with things logically or have adequate judgment because the parts of the brain that are responsible for that are hurt, it doesn't make any difference for you to argue logically or to say, well, that doesn't make any sense. Or you remember we talked about this before. Well, those things, they're not there. Or what if someone's partner is incredibly sad and tearful? What if someone's talking about, I have no future? Well, first of all, give them a hug. Even if an hour ago, he was screaming at you, yelling, throwing things around the house. Those things might not be in his control. And if he's in despair now, give him a hug. Give him some hope. Give him some attachment. Make sure that he knows that there is the next day. And give him the tools to get to that next day. Give him a phone number to call or tell him where you're going to be or something to get to that next day. But it's all about hope. It's all about keeping the arguing to the bare minimum, no matter how frustrating it might be. It doesn't make any sense to argue. The arguing just makes the person feel badly and gets them all riled up. And so instead of arguing, smiling. Because your own smile might be contagious. <laughs>